In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a 2012 child theme for WordPress. I'm going to be using FileZilla as my FTP client, and if you've never used it before, you can check out the video here. So let's just start. Before we create the CSS file, let's just go into um, themes to see where the child theme will show up and it'll be in here right with all the other themes that you have and instead of typing all the code out you can get the code at the WordPress site if you just google WordPress child themes it'll probably be there so you can copy and paste it like so if you'd like to know what all the code does you can check it out step by step here most of it is unnecessary. You only really need a few things for it to function. Now I'm going to go into a, a text editor, and I use Text Wrangler. I'm going to paste the code from WordPress and change a few of the pieces of code. Say best child theme. And that should do it for now. Then you want to save it as, and we're going to save it as a CSS file. Style.css is what it needs to be. Now I'm going to go into FileZilla. I'm already in the, the theme folder. Let me just back out so I can show you how to get into it once we have our style file. So I'm going to go to my desktop and pull up style.css there it goes now to get to the themes you want to go to WP content themes now we need to create a new theme folder and you want to hit create directory and you can really call this whatever you want this is what the theme name will show up as so um, I'll call it 2012 child now you can upload the style sheet to the folder There we go. Now if you go into themes in WordPress and refresh or refresh the page it should show up. There it is. So before we activate this child theme, I'm going to show you where you can find the CSS for the regular 2012 theme so we can make a change so you can actually see that it works what I'm going to change is the um, the title that shows up on the page right there the sample page every page really so to get there I already have it up you need to go into appearance and then editor and then on the right hand side you'll see style sheet so
what I'm going to change is the that entry title. So I'm going to copy that code and go back into Text Wrangler and paste it. And I don't want it to display, so I'm just going to tell it with CSS to display none. Then save that. <clears throat> now we need to go back into FileZilla and re upload the style sheet. Overwrite. Okay, now we're going to activate the child theme. As you can see, it's still up there because we haven't activated it. Now you want to go back into themes and activate. Here we are. Now you can visit the site to check it out, see if it worked for you. And the entry title is gone. It does work. And you could use the 2012 theme CSS and go back into it as a reference to experiment with different styles in your, in your child theme. Make changes to or something like that. If you go into editor, the all you'll see is your child theme style sheet. But I wouldn't recommend making changes to it here. You could experiment here, but I would definitely do it on the file on your desktop and then run it through FTP. But um, for sake of whatever, I'll just show you that it can be edited in here. And now the title is back, entry title. So that'll do it. If you want to learn how to back up your whole WordPress site with FileZilla, you can check out this video here. Until next time. Uh, until next time.